if I paint this right, kids will be like... This actually hurt. Hello guys, my name is Doak and today I will become a magician because I will make things disappear. Seriously, I will. I'm pretty sure that you have seen this painting by artist from Portugal with a name Vile. This painting gone viral a few weeks ago and I have seen it everywhere, especially on Reddit, but also on Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. And it's weird. Because I know the painting for a long time, it's been actually created in 2019. And I know that because of you guys, you are sending me the painting, but also other paintings created by Vile. And I've put it on my list. It's been there for a long time. I've been rescheduling a lot. Yeah, but it's time to face it. Preparation. So first of all, a little overview. This effect where you paint the hole in a wall is pretty old. Graffiti artists, we do this for a long time. So why it went viral right now? Well, let's take a look at our main inspiration for this video, Vile. I've been studying Vile's work for a while. He just brought these holes into a whole new level. Just look at this. This is this is so good, so realistic. You can't even tell which part is painted and or this one with the with the rocks. So I've been looking at all these all these artworks and I found a little pattern. He basically does two kinds of holes. This is the first one. The type where the stuff in the holes is actually what you expect behind such a wall. He basically just paints the reality. And so you think that you see through the wall. This is another great example of that. This painting is a bit different because based on the background, you know that there are no cows behind this wall, but it still looks really cool. And here is the second type of hole. It's a type where the thing behind the wall is abstract a galaxy this is another example of that and another one and this is another example of the first pattern the piece that went viral was for sure the realistic one because people couldn't tell what's real and what's not and so also i today i will try to paint a similar effect which makes me anxious but i can reschedule this again <laughs> I've already done the background. I tried to mimic a look of an old concrete wall, something similar to these tiny walls, which are all around the place. And this, this is gonna be a very important place today because I'll need to check if everything looks good from this angle. Is there snow it's freaking cold today i thought that the spring season already started Okay, let's see. Huh, it's not that bad.
I've done the blue fill-in just to make the proportions more visible. And as you can see, the effect is already there. Sure, the proportions are not perfect yet. I need to adjust them, but it's already kind of cool. Right now, I'm gonna take pictures from this spot. I'm gonna make sure that I know from which spot exactly. Then at home, I'm gonna put it into computer, into Photoshop, and I'm gonna fill the blue areas with the background, with the real stuff that is behind the wall. 3D adjustment prepared, content of the holes prepared, let's do this. Alrighty, 3D is looking cool, it's time for the crucial part. the annoying part detailing making all these surfaces as realistic as possible <sighs> grass 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 reference right there grass is not that green as you might think I thought that this is gonna be a two days project, but apparently three days it is. It's been raining yesterday. Well, actually there was snow, which would be even a bigger problem, but the concrete under the building changed color because it's wet. I need to check my reference pictures. It's time for these windows which are a pain in the ass, especially because of the blue. I don't really have that tone of blue, so I'm trying to mix it with combining these two colors together. I hope that this is the end because it won't fit if that grass is white. It's time for the trees, which are tricky because when you look at that one, it's not really brown, it's not really gray, it's something in between. And there are all these tones and values of that color. Also, the sun is tricky because 
it's changing position and so the shadow on the threes is changing and i also need to calculate with the clouds because you have different kind of shadow when there is a direct sunlight this shadow that you see over here is perfect for a direct sunlight but if a cloud comes the shadow will be a lot more faded so i basically need to calculate the time when i'm done well where the sun will be uh. I can't believe that I'm done with this project. I mean, the amount of procrastination and anxiety and everything that I had because of this one. <sighs> Painting of it was not that hard, but I made it more difficult than it actually is in my head, but still, three days, it took longer than I expected, but the result is, I love it. But right now I need to wait for the clouds because I adjusted the shadows for a cloudy weather. This is one thing that is not all that awesome about this artwork that it works from one angle only and under very specific circumstances. That's why people usually do stuff like this inside of buildings. Now I know that. Anyways, guys, if you liked this project, thumb up would be awesome, as always. Yeah, I'm proud of this one. Thanks to Vile for inspiration and this is it. while vile and it in a wall and it beach yeah let's go beach yeah i was going to get out this a minute na prazno som nezapol kamer